Bruce, what are we doing today? We're going skiing. You got it. So I'm currently eating a plain bagel with some chicken breast. So I'll see you on the slopes. Okay guys, we made it on the mountain. We're just in a bit of a pickle because I have my own skis. My dad has his own skis, but Cruz does not. No. So he's just checking if we can rent skis right now, but it's not looking pretty, is it? No, it's been a while since uh, we sent the uh, the D. If we can't rent any skis, you'll most likely have to just stay in the car cruise. How do you feel about that? I'll just slide down the hill. That works. Also, it is raining right now, which is not ideal. No. You just said it's snow though. No, the website said it was snowing right now. Well, like if you look on the windshield, or no, on the window, you can tell it's rain. Yeah. Not a good start. No. To our skiing adventure. Let's blast off. Okay guys, so Cruz is currently standing in line right over there. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring my camera with me. So I got my GoPro right over here. So GoPro mode activated. Okay guys, so we just got done skiing and after like the first couple of runs, I actually lost my GoPro, which I was super scared about. Luckily, one of the people at the ski lift found it for me and so thankfully he got it for me. And what's even worse is that it's not even my GoPro, it's my mom, so she would have absolutely just killed me. But yeah, anyway, Cruz, what are your thoughts on today's skiing? Uh, one to ten, one to ten. Give me a number. Uh, seven. Should I mention how many times you fell today, or should we keep that between you and me? <laughs> how do you keep falling? Oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Where's it going? No! So, Big D is taking a pee, I think, and then we're gonna go back home. We'll see, you know? What, what do you mean, we'll see? Big D is taking a pee. We'll see. I don't think that works, Cruz. I we'll think that's. I think big, that's. I think that's we'll one see too if many. Big D is taking a pee. No, we know he is. Like he told uh, us. So yeah, he kind of uh, just ruined the whole thing, Cruz. Anyway, we're gonna go home, and then uh, we got deadlifts later tonight. So I may or may not see you at the gym. Today I don't feel like doing. All right guys, so just put up to the gym and um, yeah, honestly, like I am really tired right now. The last thing I wanna do is deadlift a lot of weight off the floor. Like that requires so much energy and it's such a, I gotta stop complaining, but just to show you guys that I'm not always like 100% motivated to go work out. Like I'm not, I'm really not I'm just, one of those days where it's like it's been a long day, pretty active as well, pretty tired and uh, pretty hungry too. But yeah, we just gotta get in there, get it done. And yeah, just basically just get it done because I'll feel so much better afterwards. And uh, yeah, just gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So uh, let's go. <laughs> Heaven just knows what it was Will I go back to the place where I belong? Everyone could break my heart But I try my best to not fall apart And I find it hard to let go The memories keep me 
it together Gotta fight till the end, no pressure, no pressure And I find it hard to say no To the ones who want something better To the ones who never say never You'll be my pleasure So guys, I got another package in the mail the other day, so let's open her up. Okay, so you guys probably haven't noticed this because I haven't really pointed it out to you guys, but all my squats, right? So right now I'm just using my normal Converse shoes. They have a flat sole, so it's pretty ideal for squatting. Just I noticed actually only up until recently like two weeks ago Someone pointed it out to me because I put like my squat footage on Instagram and someone told me like hey Your heels are coming off the floor every time you come up which I never even noticed So I looked back on my footage and I can very clearly now see that once I go down like it's fine But then on my way up my heels slightly come off the floor and I always thought that it has something to do with the shoe, right? But it's actually a lack of ankle mobility. So something I really need to work on these next couple of weeks is just getting my ankle to be more mobile. So I'm gonna have to do some research, see how I can do that because it hasn't really bothered me at all because I didn't even notice. But now that someone has pointed it out to me, I'm very consciously trying to avoid that from happening. So yeah, anyway, Converse shoes, I mean, they're good, but I don't know. I feel like having more of an elevated heel would help my squat a bit more. So on Black Friday, I decided to order a pair of shoes. They're squat shoes, obviously. Here we have it. Super simple pair of, what are these called? Powerlift 4 shoes. So I honestly got these for like 80 bucks on Adidas because they're having like a 40% off sale. So that's... Honestly, it was a really good deal, so I'm gonna try them out right now, see how they fit and feel. These are considered squash shoes because they have like an elevated heel on the back here. So normally like flat sole shoes, like the Converse have like a flat sole, whereas these are flat as well, but they have a bit more of an elevated here. So it's kind of flat, but it kind of elevates here. So when you're squatting, right, it's almost near impossible for your heels to come off the floor now because of the elevated heels. Damn. So I can already tell by simply just putting them on my feet. I don't know what it is. I just feel like really just planted to the ground, very stable. Like I can already tell a really big difference. So I'm gonna try and squat down right now. Oh, these feel amazing. Very happy with these shoes. They feel very comfortable. I'm always a bit skeptical to order shoes online because you never know exactly if you get the right size or not because a lot of different companies have like different sizes. So normally for most shoes, like a good size 10. So luckily for me, these fit perfectly size 10 exactly my fit so really happy with that and uh, yeah super excited now because it happens to be like day tomorrow so i'm 100 gonna be wearing these for my squad day tomorrow so looking forward to that so i will see you guys tomorrow okay guys so it's currently the next day just got back from my leg workout and uh, i am an idiot so who in their right mind decides to film a youtube video but forgets to bring their camera like name a single person who does that like what? That makes no sense. You tried to film a YouTube video, but you forget to bring your camera. The two and two don't really go hand in hand. Anyway, I'm an idiot. I forgot to bring my camera to the gym to film my leg workout, but luckily I could still film on my phone. So I got some footage, which I'll show right here in this little box right there. So I'll leave some space over there. I'll scooch over a bit. So anyway, um, yeah, first time wearing the shoes. Such a big difference, guys. I think it's just mentally as well, just knowing that you, you have like a stable base underneath you. Because with the Converse shoes, I've had them for like a year now, and I use them for like pretty much everything. I use them to go to work, I use them to run, to do pretty much my everyday activities. So they're pretty much like all round shoes, and they're kind of beat up. So they're not like the most reliable and sturdiest shoes. So yeah, not ideal. So anyway, with these new shoes, I felt a lot more confident going down and then coming back up again. I felt a lot more planted to the ground. It almost feels like you're doing a leg press, as if like you're pressing against something. It's such a big difference. Highly recommend you guys to invest 
invest in actual proper squat shoes if you're serious about this and as you guys can tell my heels did not come off the floor at all i mean they did slightly i still need to work on my ankle mobility but for now at least like it looks pretty good but obviously i will not neglect my ankle mobility it is definitely something i need to work on so i gotta find some exercises to see on how to improve that and then my working sets again felt really good so yeah i don't really have much to say about that other than squats felt amazing and then i guess all the other exercises i did were the leg press some walking lunges leg extensions leg curls and some seated calf raises which I couldn't film, but yeah, that was basically the entire workout. It was such a good workout. The shoes made such a big difference. Anyway, I don't know. This was a bit of a random type of video. I'm not really sure I didn't have like an actual plan because normally I have like a plan, but today was more of like an actual, like, I don't know. I don't even know what I should title this video. We went skiing, then went to do some deadlifts, then unboxed my new squat shoes, then showed you guys a leg workout, which I forgot to bring my camera too, but I still filmed on my phone, so not really sure how to title this video. I'm sorry if it was a bit like all over the place. I do apologize. I do try to make my videos more specific and like try to plan them out in advance, but today or this week at least, just a bit of like all over the place. And also kind of like this week specifically is the week of my final exams. So I got four exams to do in three days. So that's a bit stressful. So yeah, I kind of been studying for that as well recently a lot. So yeah, I just got a few things going on, so I'm kind of like all over the place, but yeah, hopefully next video will be a bit more, yeah, you know what I mean. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up. I'd highly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.